Good morning, YouTube. Today is January 16th, day 16, and I totally forgot what I was just about to say. Um, yeah, oh well, start at the beginning. So yesterday, went for a bike ride, and I totally forgot that, you know, because when I used to bike ride before, I, to I totally forgot that I am not supposed to go for a nice, long, cold bike ride and then jump right into a hot shower and, you know, take a nice long hot shower and then not put on lotion because I swear I was wearing a wool sweater last night in bed. Like, it was so horrible. I couldn't even sleep too well. And I got up this morning and I just slathered myself in, <clears throat> you know, in lotion. It was so uncomfortable last night. And it's funny, those things that we forget over time, um, it always comes around every summer. You know, like spring comes around and the days are nice and I'm like, I'm going for a bike ride and I always forget to put on sunblock and I'll come back sunburned and it's like, oh man, why do I always forget the sunblock every year, every year? And it's the same thing now. If I go for, a, uh, you know, if I'm cold, I'm out for a bike ride and I think, oh man, you know what sounds great? A nice long hot shower. And then I forget to put on lotion and I end up like the most uncomfortable, like itchy mess so that's what happened last night anyway I was watching uh, super fat versus super skinny and it makes me realize kind of how lucky I am for as big as I am even though in my mind like I don't see myself as that big when I look in the mirror I don't think of myself as being this big um, I I don't have high blood pressure, I don't have diabetes, I don't have sore knees, I don't have a bad back, I don't have any of that stuff that goes with being big. Even the last time I went to the doctor, I don't have high cholesterol, I have normal liver function, you know, I've been a very lucky person for being as big as I am for as long as I have. You know, and I watch these other people who are losing toes, and they're not even as big as I am. And these people, like, have knee problems, and they're, you know, in the little get-around mobile carts and stuff, and it's... I realized just what a lucky, healthy human that I am. I mean, of all the things in the world that people suffer from, I have none of it, except for the obesity, but that is so under my control. And, you know, and it kind of, like, kind of makes you mad. Like, dude, you can walk. You have perfectly working legs. You have nice bikes. You could be out riding, but, like, I, I, you know, I'm a fat guy because I chose to just sit and eat and not care about what I eat because, you know, a package of burritos is like $2, but a little package of carrots is the same freaking price. It's ridiculous. Like how expensive healthy food is, and, and you start thinking about it going, well, you know, potato chips are just processed foods. They take all the potatoes that are garbage that they wouldn't put like in your Idaho bag because it all comes from the same place. You know, they just take these potato chips that probably don't really pass the safety control elsewhere. They chop them up into thin little pieces and they deep fry them and send them on out. You know, they find a way to use them. Because, you know, it's just processed food versus like an apple. An apple has to, to grow. It takes time and it has to like, they have to keep the bugs off it and you know, and then if they don't use chemicals for that, that's called organic. And then it costs even more money because you got someone there just sitting there swatting flies away from this damn apple. Okay, I'm, I'm you know, exaggerating a bit, but you get the point. <clears throat> the thing about being big in America is like, I am so not alone. There's so many more people out there who are like me and that's why I'm doing this vlogging series is so that I can be an inspiration to you people. It's not been easy for me. Like when I started this and having to cut my calories down to like 2,900, you know, and I know to some people that's a lot. I feel like I got something in my eye here. I get that little... Uh, 2,900 seems like a lot to certain people, but for me, like, it really wasn't at first, but now it's become okay. I'm okay with it. And then I think, man, the more weight I lose, the less calories I'm going to have to eat, but then, of course, the less calories I'm going to need to maintain myself, you know? So, when I, when I look at myself in the mirror, I don't feel like I'm this big. But when I see myself in pictures, I go, man, am I really that big? Am I, 
am I really that fat? There's no way. Because I don't, you know, it, there's this mental image of myself versus, like, you know, the pictures that I see. And they just don't mesh up. But... Like, I see big people, people even bigger than me at the store constantly. You know, I go to Walmart, and there are just people that are, like, twice my size sometimes. And I realize, like, you know, this epidemic that they talk about really is real. Like, you know, I'm not alone out there. And I know it's it's not easy to do this diet stuff, you know, to... to Whatever your diet choice is, it's not easy because it's such a change from what we're used to. Whether you eat six small meals or, you know, you've decided to go completely raw. Whatever it is that you've chosen to done, it, it's not easy because it's it's a total lifestyle change to, you know, almost to a point. But the thing is, is like, if you want to accomplish something, you almost have to dedicate 100% of yourself to it. You have to almost just cut everything else out and dedicate yourself to like just weight loss if, if you want to lose the weight it becomes almost a full-time job to like constantly count your calories and tell yourself no you can't have the soda and when you go out to eat with the family fries are off the menu you know what I mean it's it's not easy but it's something that we have to do if we want to lose weight and living in America with fast food restaurants every three feet it's it's such a hard thing to do, and I realize that, and I'm with you. It's hard. It's a hard thing to be big, and I know that you know skinny people may not see it that way. I've I've heard people you know tell me just just stop eating, don't eat so much, cut out a meal. I wish it was that easy. I really do. I really wish it was. It, it may be that easy for them, but again, it's like telling an alcoholic just stop drinking. What's the problem? You know, throw out the beer. It's not that easy. It's really not. I'm hoping that I can be an inspiration to you, and I want you guys to be an inspiration to me, because this really is not easy. <clears throat> I'm going to say that time and time again. This isn't easy. I know it's not easy. I feel your pain, because I'm on the same boat. So, we could do this together. Give this a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Life in general is not easy. We can win, though. We will win. I will win, and I will show you that you can win. Count your calories. Love you. Bye.